Gerald to mint, gold, silver, and everything in between. Welcome back to the mint. Today we're doing an unboxing and review of the Vivor electronic scales. Yeah. So we'll just get into it. Instructions. This one's powered by the, from the wall. Uh, do that a bit. The uh, screw on top plate. Five hundred gram calibration weight. Here's the scales. Here's everything you get on the box. Um, just find it. This is the, the actual scales itself. So um, can be either plugged in at the wall where it, with the, the adapter, or it can take a little nine volt square battery, uh, which is pretty useful because the, the plug lead's not very long. And I'll probably end up having to use the battery. Um, this is a removable top there. Goes in like that. Comes in with the 500 gram uh, calibration weight so hopefully we'll get it going and see what it does the um <clears throat> for the accuracy it's a, a three three thousand gram and that's at naught point naught one of a gram and uh, so it's pretty accurate probably more than what we use um this is my standard the standard scales uh, these are good these are the same, so they're no, they're three thousand grams, but it's a zero point one gram. So these are actually ten times, ten times more accurate, um, or more precise. I wouldn't say accurate because uh, well, it all depends on how it's calibrated for the accuracy. So we've got the scales plugged in. Oh, standard little adapter, plugs in like that, and it's got a little level bubble. Yeah, it says to set it up, uh, make sure it's on a stable level workbench, make sure the, the bubble's in the middle, uh, avoid any vibration, direct sunlight, airflow, or even strong electromagnetic interference. So, pretty precise there. So, yeah. just turn it on. So that's it zeroed. Just see how it is out of the box. Ooh. Um, so yeah, it looks like mine. I've been undercutting myself by 0.3 of a gram. So that's 500 grams. It looks like these scales are slightly under, so um, yeah, I've been giving away 0.3 of a gram, but I sort of go off ounces anyway, so try ounces. I normally round to the nearest number anyway when I'm marking any of my metals, so it'd be I'd sell this one as 16 ounce, and you get the point, point zero 0.06 for free. Right, so here we've got some things to weigh for the scales, just to test them out. First of all, we'll try out... <coughs> got three one kilo bars. First one is from ABC Mint. So one kilo, that's in three nines, point five. This is serial number. Uh, this is the new Perth Mint 
bar has come out, it's one kilo. That's four nines fine. And then this is the old style Perth Mint, one kilo, three nines fine. So let's, uh, we'll just test our weights. Doing grams. That's the 500 grams. That's uh, spot on. First of all, we'll try the, the ABC one kilo bar. So it should be a thousand grams. Thousand point three eight or oh, point three six. So I've got a little extra in that one. Thousand point two nine. So this one's the heaviest, but it's also the least fineness. So technically, I won't tell you, this one's pretty heavy as well. So this has actually got the most silver content, but I'd say they're all pretty much the same. We've got two 10 ounce bars. First one's the ABC. 10 ounce 395 and that one's a little 10 ounce 39 let's put it in grams the unit to that just over 10 ounce Just over 10 as well. And we'll go on to some coins. We'll start off with the, I don't know if you can see that, little three pence, 1917. Tiny, it's hard to focus. We'll just see how much this one. Just work out. Grams, there we go. So it's 1.39 grams. There we have a nineteen twenty two six pence. So he's weighing in out. Two point seven four grams. Nineteen twenty one flooring. Eleven point six, eleven point seven. We'll go with that. Nineteen thirty-six half crown. This is an English coin. Still with the King George. Thirteen point nine five. Mm. Try out some ten ounce coins. Is a uh, 
2022 10 ounce kookaburra from the Perth Mint. There we go. It's the be the last ones with the uh, the queen on on there. I'll just we'll just open her up because we'll weigh it without the case because obviously the the capsule is going to weigh weigh a little bit. Jesus. It's all right, I'll edit this bit out. It'll seem seamless on YouTube. But in real life, it takes hours to get these out. Fucking thing. Why people recommend never take them out of the capsule. Not because it damages the coins, just you never get the thing out or get the thing back in again. That looks a lot better without the capsule. Perfect. That's a beautiful coin. So they're definitely ten ounces. Put that one back in safekeeping. Try not to destroy it. Here we have a 10 ounce Robin Hood. So 2023, this is from the Royal Mint in England. In this case will be just as hard to get off. I'm doing this so you don't have to. I'd recommend never opening these because it is a nightmare. But the coins look amazing when they're out. Jesus. There we go. This one should be 10 ounce. Perfect. See, nothing's ever exact because it's a, it'd be a nightmare to try and get it to the exact weight. Um, they'd probably go insane trying, so they always, they're always over. I don't think I've ever, ever weighed anything from a reptile place that's been under. And now, uh, here we got two kilo coins. Uh, both koalas, both from the Perth Mint. Uh, the first one's a 2019, this one's a 2020. Mm. This is actually the first ever one kilo coin I've, I purchased back in 2019. Um, quite lucky here, uh, Perth, the Perth Mint's only four hours away, so whenever I go down there for a bit of shopping or for anything, we go in there. We might have to make a little purchase or two, spend some money, buying money, I suppose. Get this one out. Big chunk of 
silver. It's got quite a matte finish to it. The, the pressures, the dies exert to, to press one kilo is, is tremendous. It's like 100, 200 tonne. So just over, just over a kilo, two, 2.39 grams. Yeah. So you think three, two, two and a half grams free with that one. So that's quite nice. And this one's the later one, the 2022. I managed to get this one a uh, dip in the in the price of silver. It was uh, 940 Australian dollars. So that's um, very, very cheap because at the moment the price has come right back up. And she's, uh, she's sitting at about $1,400 at the moment. So yeah, this one is the 2022. One kilo koala. As I was saying, yep, yeah, managed to get this at a bargain price, less than a thousand Aussie dollars. So it's 2.2 .2 grams over. It's beautiful. Put this one back in place. Move on to some gold. Got the one. So we've got a gold one ounce bar. This is the first gold bar I ever purchased from the Perth Mint. One ounce, four nines five. Just make sure. Just over an ounce. Beautiful. Their gold bars and gold coins seem to be more spot on with the weight because obviously every gram over is at the moment about a hundred Aussie dollars. Here we've got a little half sovereign. This is uh, 1982. Queen Elizabeth there on the back. Just under four grams. And the smallest, we have a little half gram. So. Point 0.5 of a gram, which is uh, nothing. See how these scales do. On this little tiny coin. Five two point five three. So the conclusion then: these Viva scales are really good, um, nice and bulky, big and chunky, um, really easy to use. Um, yeah, I think they're they're worth a while. Viva's done really good. And uh, they weren't that expensive. Really good, um, and I think they'll probably replace these ones here. He's starting to get a bit old now. Yeah, so, really good.
All right, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.